We welcome you to the physics laboratory of Gyan Niketan Girls School. Today our experiment is on to establish a relationship between the weight of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. This experiment is presented by Mr. Alok Kumar and assisted by Mona Hassan. These are the materials required. Today, I, Alok Kumar, is going to discuss my next practical class. The aim of today's practical is that to establish a relation between the width of a rectangular wooden block lying on a horizontal table and the minimum force required to just move it using a spring balance. Now, for doing this practical, we require the certain materials. Material required is a vein, wooden slab, a string, light weight, pan, bit box, a smooth pulley, and a spring balance. These all things are required for doing the practical. See here, now, this is our wooden vein with pulley, this is our pan, this is our weight box, this is our wooden block. This is the diagrammatic representation of this experiment. The wooden block M using a spring balance and keep it on the tabletop. Tie one end of a thread with the hook of the wooden block and pass it over the pulley. Tie the other end of the thread to the weight hanger and hang it vertically. Increase the weights in the weight hanger till the block just starts sliding. Note down the total mass added to the weight hanger and multiply it by acceleration due to gravity G which gives a force of limiting friction F. The normal reaction R is given by the mass M of the wooden block multiplied by acceleration due to gravity G. The coefficient of the static friction is then calculated by the equation mu is equal to F divided by R. Repeat the experiment with different masses on the block and in each case mu is calculated and it is found to be a constant for the given pair of surfaces. The graph between limiting friction and normal friction is a straight line. The coefficient of friction is also calculated by measuring the slope of the graph. Mu is equal to AB by OA. This is our observation in which maximum measure in the spring balance capital M is 100 gram. Number of divisions in the spring balance capital N equals to 50. The least count of the spring balance capital L that is equal to M by N equals to 2 gram. Weight of first block is 100 gram. In the observation table, we get that in the weight in the pan is 10 gram. The reading of the spring balance is 25 gram. The wooden block remains in position of rest. The weight in the pan is 20 gram. The reading of the spring balance is 30 gram. The wooden block remains in the position of rest. When the weight in the pan is 30 gram, the reading of the spring balance is 35 gram. The wooden block remains in the position of rest. Similarly, when the weight in the pan is 40 gram, the reading of the spring balance is 40 gram. The wooden block remains in the position of rest. When the weight in the pan is 50 gram, reading of the spring balance is 45 gram. The wooden block starts moving. Thank you for watching this video.